Hey guys, this is AAFLR777 here, and today I have a 1-400 scale review for you guys. This review will be of my brand new Gemini Jets Delta Airlines McDonnell Douglas MD-90. Um, there's a lot I could say about this model, but uh, I'm just going to say one thing. This model is awesome. Um, it's a little weird having a, you know, a McDonnell Douglas aircraft, especially in the colors of Delta. Um, because, uh, I mean, they just, this plane has never been made before. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, it has been made, but it's just not, never like this before. Um, this is a completely new mold by Gemini. Um, it's been, you know, rumored for six years now that it's coming out. Um, and it's finally, you know, here. So it's really exciting to actually have this model. Uh, it's been a big hole in a lot of people's fleets, especially in mine. And, uh, I'm really happy to have it now. So, uh, anyways, we'll start with the box. So it's a pretty typical Gemini box, um, just, you know, the uh, normal size one, like A320, 737 size. Um, so you got Gemini Jets up here, Delta MD-90, Delta logo, Delta Sky Team MD-90 on the side, just as Gemini Jets, and then you got the MD-90 right there. And on the back, you got the plane climbing, Gemini Jets. This is a 2013 model, it's only released last month. Um, and then uh, you get the plane again. And on the inside flap, um, there's the inside flap, got Delta again. Lots of cool information about the uh, DC-9 MD-80 fleet. Um, here's some more information about the model. And then there's actually a plane in here. Uh, this plane's kind of like my reserve MD-90. Uh, currently we only get two, uh, two of our destinations around MD-90s, uh, Detroit and Atlanta. So uh, if we get more, maybe I'll bring this model out, but for now it's just going to stay in the box. Um, I kind of feared this model would sell out pretty quick. It hasn't yet, but I'm sure it will soon, so if you haven't gotten it yet, I'd recommend getting it soon. Um, anyways, so uh, here's the model. I'll start off on the cockpit. Like I said, this is a gorgeous model. Now, so there's the cockpit windows right there. You got the eyebrow window. Sky Team logos on the door, which is unusual for I, I don't understand why they do this with the MD the MD uh, 88s MD 90 fleet. The, the Sky Team logo is actually on the door for some reason. I don't really understand that the uh, reasons behind that. You can see there's a little bit of paint, um, kind of defecty type stuff there, but I don't really care that much. Um, we got Delta written right across the front cabin, and then here's the. Uh, American flag and 901 DA. Really good engine details on this plane. I mean, this is just a really detailed engine. And then you got the uh, beautiful Delta logo on the tail. We'll pull it around to the other side so you guys can see the car uh, cargo doors and everything. Here's your forward cargo door. Another cargo door. There's your rear cargo door. Um, again, the registration. And then there's the Delta tail again. Uh, this model does feature rolling gears. If that's something you're into, I really don't care, because uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not pushing my models around or anything, so I really don't care about rolling gears, but if that's something you're into, then I guess that's a bonus. Um, so uh, anyways, I figured I thought I'd bring in my other MD-90. Um, so I do have three of these in my fleet now, at this point. Um, like I said, only two of them are going to be in service at my airport, because um, we only have two, two destinations on them, so usually there's only two at a time. As soon as the MD-88 comes out, which, I mean, based on this release, I would imagine will be pretty soon, um, I'll definitely get, like, at least three MD-88s. Um, here, I'll bring in the 7172, just to kind of, just for fun. It's, I mean, that just looks, that looks pretty cool right there. The Delta Tails, the MD, uh, MD Tails and everything. Um, one thing I, I don't know about this model, it looks, it's really, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, like, I don't know, I'm sure it's like accurately scale size, but I'm used to the Dragon Wings MD-82, and it's just, it's a lot smaller than this one. Um, but, you know, overall, I mean, this is a really great model. Um, like I said, I'm pr I am I can guarantee this model will probably sell out um, within a couple months at the most, because um, it's just, it's a very nice model. It's a highly, highly desired one, too, so um, if you really want one, I'd recommend, you know, kind of picking one up soon before they sell out. Um, so, but anyways, like I said, it's a really great model, and, uh, hope you all enjoyed this review, and, uh, thank you for watching.